Hello out there, and welcome back to the Maid of Skur. I'm Eric Haverkamp with Perspective Gaming, and last we left off, we'd finally escaped Big Stippy Stompy Guy, and we're ready to keep navigating through this hotel to find the pieces of the Mind Control song. So let's get on that. Oh yeah, I can't reach the music. How sad. I'll be back for you. I not been in this room before this layout looks familiar There's a lot of classical statues around all right that wasn't useful that's useful though is that Bach Beethoven I'm not good at my musicians or really recognizing any faces Wow it's all moody in here. Hello. Sure is weirdly quiet and fine. Is there anything else in there? Doesn't appear to have been. Well, that was easy. I don't trust that at all. Let's maybe unlock some extra doors in case I need to be sneaking around. Woo! Map. That didn't help at all. Alright. No reflection I see. That's good. Oh, that's not a reflection. That's a that's a, a window. That's then it's really good it wouldn't have a reflection. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, that was some sort of zip zap that we can use to defeat to him. Okay. Hi, hello. Go on, take a swing. Come on, coward. Okay, you can see it char charging up over there, too. That's good. Oh, it hurt me to be in here. Okay, that's not great. But I have more healing stuff if I need it. Okay. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Give me that key. Oh, why are you calling me now? Are you dead? No, I mean, I know you're not dead. You're gonna come back after me right after I do this phone call. Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. I thought you were. It's your uncle. He wouldn't stop. What happened? I could hear the sound of... Footsteps? Wait. I thought I heard something Stip here. stomps? Creepy music? What is it, Elizabeth? Somebody is trying the door, Thomas. I must go. No! No, stop! Stop! Let go of me! Let me go! You get off! All right, we can leave now. Now that she's dead, who cares? I might make a good thumbnail. Gotta be thinking about thumbnails. Also, let's, uh, let's, what was it? There's my heal up button. Ah, uh, no more thumpy breathing and red vision. Bird! That takes skull key? I don't have skull key. So there have been a couple doors with bird insignias around, so I might 
chop down a quick exploration of the rest of the... Oh, I have the map. Can I just check the map and see... Other bird doors might have been... Something in the church? Basement. Gardens. First floor. There was at least one bird door in the first floor. And then there's this bird door that leads forward in the plot. I think I will head... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bye. <sighs> you can't get in the elevator. You're too programmed for that. So I'm going to explore the first floor and find whatever... I think it was just some creepy music in there, if I recall. I think there was also some creepy music I missed on the first floor. I might go in the, in the outdoor gardens. I might see if I can go grab that really quick while we're doing a bit of a salty run back. All right, where? What do we have in here? Bear trap. Unfinished bathroom. Nothing there was super interesting. There's a skull. Might be related to the skull <laughs> key. Gonna be hard to take a look at it while that guy's right there. Oh. Well. It's not how you get the skull key, at least, I guess. I don't wanna, but I also don't wanna go back. After exploring a little bit, I decided getting to the grounds was a little annoying. Oh man, why are you still here? And why can't my character sprint and hold his breath for a moment? That would be really handy. Wrong direction. away from that guy for a bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> Father has discovered my plans to counter his song and I've made steps to ensure that I cannot I can stop him, but he's planning to unleash it tonight at the rehearsal in the Grand Harmonium with the staff in attendance. I fear I'm too late. I must try to stop him my, myself to stop him. I agreed to sing for my father and attempt to stop his vile plan. Something went terribly wrong. I tried to sing what I could of the counter song, the version I created, but it wasn't ready. I should have waited for Thomas and the others, but time was short. I fear I've made things worse. The look on Father's face when he knew what I was attempting frightened me. I've never seen him like that before. The song was sung with the melody of the cylinders sent everyone mad. It was not the desired effect I had, for, I had planned for it. The staff started screaming and attacking each other. Father began to bleed from his ears, then became unhinged. Scribbling on the stairs with his own blood. What have I done? doesn't really sound like it was you so much as your father's dumb, but... One. Okay, so some kind of code. Fish with horrible joker teeth and a man ready to punch that fish. One. Why are you following me? Three. Man with a falcon. Four is a woman with a cage. 
And two is a woman with a dog. And five is a hunter with a stag. So, fish, dog, falcon, songbird, stag. And Stip Stompy just appears to be somewhere beneath me, unable to reach me? I'm guessing he can't come in this room or something. Get by the stairs in case he can. Yeah, it seems like he's confused about how to get into this room. Let's get that before it starts messing with my brain. Anything else around here? Article of Tragic Loss. The Morning Herald! Volume, uh, number 97. Sunday morning, December 16th, 1894. 20 pages, one half penny. Family turmoil forces esteemed establishment. Skur Hotel closes its doors. There's uh, some text missing there because it's a newspaper and that confused me. Uh, due to passing of the maid of Skur, husband of esteemed singer Prudence Williams closes Skur Hotel in South Wales. Isaac Williams, businessman and owner of Skur Hotel, refuses to accept any new residents into his hotel as his mouth as he mourns the loss of his beloved wife. Skur Hotel closed after only a decade of being open to the public. This esteemed establishment was well reviewed by critics and a host of num host a number of spectacular shows performed by the deceased singer sensation, the maid of Skur, Pr Prudence Williams. She was survived by her daughter, the young, her young daughter, Elizabeth. Pictures. Why do I need to know numbers? Yeah, I know you're here or whatever. You can't follow me. I understand your programming. You're too much of a coward to face stairs. I didn't see a safe or anything downstairs. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, it was... Weird. Okay, what did I get wrong? Er, does it need to reset every time? Okay, let's try it again. Hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. Don't look at me, monster. Written in the mirror. Interesting. Nothing psychological to read into that. I have locked myself away in the attic and barricaded the door. The grand harmonium does not seem to have affected me like the others. This all began with the creature, sequestered beneath Skir Point. It has to be free, preventing it from harming anyone else. I must ensure I can get to the cavern safely without wh what were without what were my father and his men finding me. They are not sane men anymore. Oh, this is how she was talking to me. Okay. I don't have all the music yet. I only have three. And I don't have all of these yet, which I feel like they're important. Oh, you're in the nice evil dress. Oh, you're not. Is that a guillotine window? Ouch. Well, good. I Good riddance, I guess. Um, if 
fun. Oh, I went through like a... Shoot. Okay. Shoot. I took a chance at leaving the safety of the attic today. I have discovered my father has begun doing unspeakable things, burning men's faces with no reasoning for it. I hear uncle beneath these floorboards, wandering the halls searching for me. He's become a mindless giant. They have both sunk deeper into madness, wearing their horrid ritual masks. It frightens me. Some guests have arrived early for the grand reopening. I tried to warn them, but my father and uncle forced this madness upon them. These poor people are now just as monstrous as my family. It's too horrible to describe. So, yeah. I don't know if that was Elizabeth's head? It seems like that would be the thing, but it also seems like that would be... Sudden. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if she shows up. I have managed to make phonograph copies of three of my father's four cylinders. Three parts of the siren song. Oh, we don't have the, the fourth. fourth. I've come to realize is the very same tune as the musical locket that you always wore, mother. The very one which I was so fascinated with as a child. <laughs> Even as an infant, were you grooming me to take your place as my father now commands? Whatever the truth of your misdeeds, mother, I want you to know that I've arranged for these fragments of the siren song to be dispatched to four composers. Your locket to go to my dearest Thomas. With his help and theirs, we shall come up with a means to counter the power of the song my father so desperately seeks to control. Okay, I do have the locket. That's fascinating. Now I just have to survive a horrible death basement. Oh, yay, death. Creepy music. Oh, you're my wonderful guide through this nightmare. Ooh, horrible death music. I can't go forward. Do you have teleport powers? That's cheating! Mythology. In Greek mythology, a siren is a creature half bird, half woman who lured sailors to destruction by the sweetness of her song. Sirens are not, all the, are not the same as mermaids, but have been mistaken as the same throughout the ages. It is believed in, that in medieval times, sirens stopped being depicted as birds, like to fish, like... That's a weird English sentence. It is believed that in medieval times, sirens stopped being depicted as bird-like to fish-like creatures due to a confused interpretation by writers and artists. This has led over the centuries to the true visual image of the siren evolving and become widely depicted as a mermaid, which in Greek legends is not the case. Sirens were actually first documented in Homer's Odyssey in the 8th century, and later writers specified that sirens possess wings, or that they have the heads of beautiful women and the bodies of birds. Which is mostly true, I think? Nope. Hello? Nope. Keep opening doors, I suppose. Oh, well, I guess that also works. That wasn't too bad. Fuck. Entirely off. You tremendous ass. <laughs> Well, I guess I get to just explore the basement anyway. So that's nice. Give me my creepy bride. Creepy girl. Oh, won't you be my eye? 
With Cappy R and Y-E-I. I'll ditch these guys. Then you'll be mine, creepy girl. Oh, wow. Grand Harmonium Designs. Separating it into four has made it safer to experiment with as the full effects of the song can only take hold if they're all played in sequence. But how to mitigate and control that effect when they are combined? Like a melody in a dream, I almost have it. Four cylinder mechanisms. Cerberus, Hound of Hades, Medusa, the Siren, the Hero, Pins, Musical Cylinder, Connector. Okay, I mean that kind of just made sense based on what we knew. Is that his wife's skull? Anything else I need to find while I'm down here anyway? Second floor. That's like the skull key. That's blocked off. I know there was a... Uh, that's locked. Maybe we can somehow get over there still. While I'm down here, I might try and go get the music, I, creepy music girl I missed in the garden. I know I missed one down there. Thank you for warning me, magically opening door. You saved me from a fate of punching by a Welshman. With their floppy noodle arms. Oh, bugger off. I don't like the purple cloud of chokingness. I think that's very annoying mechanically. If we go this way. I can get in here, it's fine. There's no way you can follow through here. Okay. Wrong direction, I need to go this way, that way. What was that? Was that a leftover jump scare from the beginning? incinerator okay keep on moving keep on moving when you must move, and move. oh now that I wasn't expecting did I die it doesn't bode well just a long death scene or was this supposed to happen? <laughs> Lots of contenders for <laughs> thumbnail this episode. <sighs> Seems like a very long death cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> 
Calliope! No! Yes, you're laughing. It's not that funny. This feels like we're getting pretty close to the end, so I think I'm just going to push this through and see how long it is. If it ends up being a extra episode worth of stuff, then at least I'll have an extra week of recording done. Partial week. Can I, like, drop that on a head? That's a trap. No map available. Anything over here? Other than a choking death? Sounds like Calliope might have made it. Kinky! I hate it! This feels like forward. This feels like moving on. I want to explore a little bit first. Because this feels like a moment where a secret, like, second ending thing would be found. Ow, ow. Stupid noodly arm. Monster. Not sure if it caught on the recording. My screen went black there? Yeah, that was a trap. Okay. Now. Oh. Looks like there's a key or something on that desk. I just need to not be being chased. If there if there's a secret ending or something hidden behind an air that something hidden there, I'm gonna be furious. But I just can't deal with that. It, those randomly. Why was there splorping? Hyper, randomly hyper aware enemies anymore. That was exhausting. Ah! Hate, hate the intestines and bodies gloop. That's not fun. Where am I? Oh. I'm in hell. Okay. This is going to be a big stealth section again, huh? Let's get started.
That looks really dangerous. There's a really loud music circuit there. Okay. This is another sort of boss fight, like against the uncle. So maybe this time it's against the father. Can't do that. Okay, save point at least. That is something. I fear that it is Ooh, pretty. That it cannot be done. At least not in time. I sit here. Sit at these keys day after day, night after night, trying to compose some form of counterpoint, some form of countersong to the honeyed lament of that creature. And for what? Am I foolish to hope that this might work? That I can stop my father? One misstep, one false note on my part would be catastrophic. What such a mistake might unlock could be far worse than the siren's enchantments. Is that really true? But what choice do I have? I cannot turn my back on others or allow him to succeed. Without some form of counter, all of us, and many more, will be lost. 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 Kindly stop teleporting around. Thomas, can you hear? You must stay still when father's not playing. Oh. Okay, so it's a bright flash game of red light, green light. What if he just reaches out and touch me? Okay, red light, green light. Green light. Ah, oh, don't. Red light. Green light. You're just gonna throw poison at me every time I stop. Alright, let's see if a poison bottle gets thrown at me. God damn it. That's kind of a neat mechanic, except that it's weird and inexplicable, and I'm already annoyed by these things. I am thankful that they gave me the rules immediately, though, so I didn't have to figure them out. Also, neat that uh, Elizabeth is alive. That seems like a good thing. I need in there something with a triangle shape <sighs> the locket okay Thomas my love 
come to me. I'm waiting for you by the Grand Harmonium. No thanks. I don't trust you at all. Key. Spooky, scary, skeleton key. It's so misunderstood. Okay. Got creepy music to get on the top floor. And that, that skull in the, uh... Optimal placement. Yeah, we already knew that. Pages from Isaac's journal. 2nd, 22nd, October, 1897. Everything is set for tonight's rehearsal. The cylinders in the Grand Harmonium are prepared and ready for the experiment. I have made it mandatory that all staff have to convene in the Grand Hall. Test subjects on the scale are hard to come by. With confidence, the cylinders should produce the desired effect upon the test subjects. And my brother, Abram, assures me that my daughter Elizabeth is attending and will perform the song as her mother did before her. And she didn't, and that fucked everybody's brain. Hey, creepy music. Thank you for being my comp constant companion throughout this journey. Eric wouldn't have made it very far without creepy music. See ya! Save room, side room. <sighs> Might as well open all of them and go into the save room first. That just seems like a wise decision. All right, so I'm assuming that the skull key is guarding something important. Probably like a secret ending or something. I gather that she's not entirely stable. They have barred that shut. Okay. Good thing I... The very first thing I did in the entire game once I got into this hotel was find a secret path around. Anybody here? Do I have to be schnocky? I don't think I have to be sneaky. I think I can just go get it. Although there was a guy in here. Yeah. Skull. Crown key. Nothing secret about that. Are you attack or are you not attack Arthur Morris music that's what I was wondering we've got all four sheets of counter music now sorry Arthur I wish we could have learned to love and play and get along with each other I don't know what's down here. Oh! Well, that was the the creepy music I was afraid I was missing in the garden, so that's nice.
I don't know why I would have to go out into the rest of the mines, though, so I'm not going to. Um, I want to use the last skull key upstairs if I can still get to the elevator without triggering the end game. There's only the one, right? First floor, second floor. Yeah, I think it was just that one. For the skull key. It seems to have been. Yeah, I think we're going to end this one today. Which is nice. It's always nice to get something done. I should have stopped at that save point there in case I get cinematic as soon as I walk into the middle of this room. Nope, we're good. Psst. Thomas. Fuck off. I have a truer and grander love than thee awaiting me. Just have to get past Stippy Stompy and this guy. Oh, and there's just clues there about where to find the... Okay, that's nice. I don't think I got all the creepy music because I think... What? Is that... Is there lore over there I missed? Because I think I didn't... I don't think I got the achievement for getting all of the creepy music girls, but we did good. Let's finish this. Having collected all that I'm going to bother collecting, let's... Hi! Let's put an end to it. Thomas! Do you have to shout? the attic. I've been hiding from them ever since. Whose head was on but your mannequin? we must hurry. Do you have the cylinders? I will play the counter song. <laughs> we shall end all this madness and disharmony and gain control of the siren song for ourselves. Bring order to them. What are you doing? No! Thomas, you don't understand. We must... <laughs> Good thing the piano kept playing for me. Ending. 
This is going really deep. misery and suffering to free this thing and my family from this curse but do you know why the caged bird sings That looked uncomfortable. I'm sure that flying women don't have really thin, airy bones that are designed for flight and break easily or anything. People with in the light, burned faces. new harmony was found. Old chains were broken, and in the aftermath of the song's end, a new one began. Wales Interactive Game. That was fun. A little frustrating at times, but pretty and fun. I hope you guys enjoyed too. I uh, I really like the sort of just sort of the design and layout. Music obviously very nice. Like I said at the very beginning, I, I'm a kind of a sucker for horror stories from other countries besides the U.S. and like Britain. Um, so seeing one that was Welsh, really neat kind of, you know, just a Greek monster, but fun and pretty music. So as always, I'm going to let the credits roll so you get the full experience of, of the game and can say thanks to all these folks. But thanks for joining me. We'll see how long this episode ends up being after editing, and see you in the next one. Bye!